everybody. I'm here with my friend. We want to minister to you today. And I woke up this morning with this word. Just want to share it quickly. It's from Hebrew. God says, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. And many times that is the problem, that is the only problem for God to come through, is because we are hardening our hearts. We don't want to repent when we do something wrong. We have pr proud, proudness, and that is something we do of free will, so God cannot do anything. He can't answer our prayers if we choose to have pride. So we need to make sure that our hearts are open for God so we can hear his voice, his sweet voice, where he asks us to repent. And I just want to pray today. I woke up this morning with this burden for families. I know there are many people out there who are struggling in their families, even Christian families, very attacked. Many times there are more attacked than non-Christian families. And it's so much struggle and the enemy is coming against your family. And maybe it's been like that since you were a little boy or little girl. It's always been a struggle in your family. And you know you have a calling maybe your parents are ministers but still there's a lot of struggle with your sisters and brothers or your parents and I'm telling you that is how the enemy works because he doesn't want those callings to continue to the next generation so he goes after the bloodline to destroy the calling that we are called to inherit from our parents and our grandparents. And I just want to use some time to minister to you today and to pray for you who are struggling in your family, who are hurt by your siblings, who have a dysfunctional family where you are hurting each other and you've been like this for years and maybe you you have like a disconnection with one of your parents you feel that you all doesn't understand each other and the enemy loves to destroy families and he loves to create these wounds that makes us so proud that we can not even apologize to our own family members we don't want to and I just want to pray and break that over your life today. And Jesus, I come before your throne right now. I come before you, Father God, with these families that you have called for this end time. I pray, Father God, that you will raise up these families who are living with all these struggles who are fighting and struggling and are jealous at each other, who are full of proud, proudness, and you want to come through. You want our families to be raised up and be used by you, Father God. The enemy cannot have our families. He's trying to steal the mantles that are given from our parents to us that goes from generation to generation and I just break that in the authority that is given from heaven over my life I break that that torment that comes against our family and people I just want to say something you are a Christian and who are struggling in your family and it makes you so sad that it's not working Maybe God is calling you like he called Joseph to stand in the gap for your family. Maybe you are the person that God is going to use to the breakthrough for your family. I believe so. 
he will always use one particular person in a family and that person maybe have most jealousy most pressure from the other members in the family and God will use you if you will stand in the gap for your family today if you will stand in front of the, the throne of, of the Father and pray for your family and break the curses of your family and Father God I just pray for these people who are struggling that they will rise up on the inside today instead of laying down and being sad because of how their families are or have become and it looks like it's a, a war zone in their home it's like a, a, a constantly struggling it's always something going on it never ends Father God, I pray that you will raise up these families in this time, this end time. You need these families to be one, to be restored. I thank you, Father God, for restoration for these families. Rest, restore every wound, every trauma, everything that happened when they were kids, Father God. What the enemy came against in their uh, integrity in their identity, in their soul, in the depths of their soul, where they're walking around believing in lies about themselves. Father God, I pray that you will come through with a miracle working power to those families today. Thank you for you are a God of wonder. You will do wonders in these families. And I break every curse. I pray that these people will raise up and be unified. We need to stand together, people. It says, divided we fall and united we stand. The enemy hates unity. He hates unity in families. He hates unity in siblings. He hates unity between husband and wife. He's trying to come against that. Because God is always for unity. The body of Christ has to be unified for it to function the way God intended it to be. So we are praying for unity for families today. We're closing the gap from generation after generation of struggle. I just plead the blood over these families. I plead the blood over these children over the siblings that are striving and struggling against each other. Father God, take away the jealousy, take away the prideness, take away the revenge, take away every self-righteousness and let them see that we are called to be one. We are called to be unified because of you, Father God. So I just pray for your blessing, your anointing to come over these families today. Hallelujah. Oh, come Holy Spirit. mother's womb 
He has called you. And even if you hurt, forgive. Forgive your father, your earthly father. Forgive him for the words he said to you what you lacked when you were a little boy that you should have had from your daddy. Forgive him. And God will raise up your life. And he wants you to carry that mantle out of love. He doesn't want you to feel forced to do it. He wants you to do it because you love him. Because I tell you, there's people waiting for you. Many of you who are struggling with taking up your calling. You know, God has all the time in the world. He's eternal. We have a certain time on this life, maybe 80, 90 years, if we're lucky. And it's up to us how many years we will use to struggle against that calling. And I'm just, I just want to encourage you to, to say yes to what God has put over your life, to be the Joseph in your family, that say yes to what God has called you to do, because there are a lot of people waiting for you. There are a lot of people that need you. And God is going to heal you. He's going to use your story. He's going to anoint you. And He's going to send you out. And you're going to be so powerful. So I just want to pray for you. That God will come today where you are in your apartment and convince you and speak to your deepest part of your soul to surrender. Surrender to His will today. Surrender to His will. will make you 
ha ha more happy than to be in the will of God. You can be little happy or this or that, but to be genuine happy on the inside and really, really satisfied, even if there is a price to pay, you will feel a, a deep satisfaction when you say yes to Christ to give your life and your time and your calling and lay down all the fleshly thoughts, lay down your proudness, your unforgiveness, that you need to be right all the time. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We just have to humble ourselves in front of God and receive the mercy. We all need mercy. And just forgive each other and have the spirit that is in Christ Jesus.
thank you for watching us today. God bless you. And we will be back another day praying and ministering to you again. God bless you. Walk with God. Say yes.